Have you ever wondered what truly defines greatness? Is it the absence of mistakes or the courage to confront them? Have you ever faced a situation where admitting a mistake felt almost impossible or found yourself at a crossroads, torn between the allure of deceit and the humble path of honesty? Join us in this compelling story and discover how your actions can not only shape your destiny, but also impact those around you. Stay with us till the end to learn that the path to wisdom and integrity is not about never failing, but about how we rise after we fall. Now, on to our story. One sunny morning, a donkey and a horse found themselves together in search of work. The donkey was very honest, humble in his ways, hard-working and very friendly and amicable. The horse, on the other hand, was very arrogant and thought that his beautiful white coat, elegance and speed made him superior. Above all, he was convinced that he was superior to the donkey in every way and that no one would prefer the donkey over him. It's hard to believe that such inferior and classless creatures can share the same space with me, thought Apollo, the majestic white horse, as he cast a disdainful look at Buddy, the modest and hard-working donkey who was nearby. Buddy, trying not to take the contemptuous comment to heart, turned to the horse with a sincere smile. Hi, my name is Buddy, and you? I really hope we both get this job, he said after hearing Apollo's words. Apollo sighed and turned his head in disgust toward the donkey. These two animals from such different worlds found themselves at the gates of Mr. Leandro's estate, a rich and wise man. Both were there for the same reason, to seek work, as it was rumored that there was no better master than Mr. Leandro. When the gates finally opened, Apollo and Buddy stood before Mr. Leandro, who listened to them carefully and decided to put them to the test. He tasked them with transporting a load of food from his estate to the village. This task held immense significance as it ensured that the villagers had access to essential sustenance. It served not only as a trial of physical strength, but also as a measure of their trustworthiness, dedication, and ability to collaborate effectively. Apollo, despite deeming the task beneath his dignity, reluctantly acquiesced, motivated solely by his desire to secure the job and maintain his perceived superiority over the seemingly insignificant Buddy. On the contrary, Buddy enthusiastically embraced the challenge, displaying his unwavering commitment to hard work and a willingness to assist others. As the two contenders embarked on their journey to the village, each pulling a cart laden with essential supplies, Apollo, the majestic white horse, initiated his voyage with a hastened pace, firmly convinced that Buddy would inevitably lag behind. However, their path took an unexpected turn when Apollo encountered an expansive mud puddle blocking his way. Refusing to sully his elegant coat, he made a reckless attempt to circumvent it, inadvertently damaging one of the cart's wheels. Confounded by his predicament and reluctant to concede his error, Apollo devised a cunning plan to outsmart Buddy. He skillfully repaired the wheel to the best of his ability, all the while patiently waiting for Buddy to catch up. This deceitful maneuver was Apollo's attempt to maintain his facade of superiority, even in the face of adversity. Upon seeing Buddy approaching, Apollo hastened towards him and swiftly removed his yoke from the cart. He began... As I walked along, I realized that I've been very rude to you, and you're absolutely right. It would be better if both of us secured the job. However, I also noticed that I had been pulling the cart faster and, well, look at me, I'm practically flawless. On the other hand, you... Apollo paused to emphasize his point. Do you truly believe that in such a prosperous estate, they would choose someone like you over someone like me? He then proposed a solution. Why don't we swap carts? That way, we'll arrive at the same time, and Mr. Leandro will offer us both the job. After much insistence, Buddy had no choice but to agree. He removed the yoke and promptly placed it on Apollo, who wasted no time and handed over his yoke to Buddy. Apollo set off, assuring Buddy that he would wait for him later. However, before reaching the village, Buddy approached the cart and attached his companion's yoke, but as soon as he started moving, 
Disaster struck. The wheel came off, and Buddy couldn't make any progress. When Apollo finally arrived at the village, Mr. Leandro was eagerly awaiting them. To his surprise, Buddy was nowhere to be seen. Apollo confidently asserted, I won. I should get the job immediately. Wait, Mr. Leonardo replied. I won't make any decisions until I'm certain the donkey is all right. It didn't take long before Buddy arrived, sprinting towards them. But he was without the cart, carrying everything he could. Excuse me, Mr. Leandro, said Buddy. The wheel of the cart has come loose. But if you give me some time, I'll go back and retrieve all the missing items, even if I have to transport them one by one. The man simply nodded, granting Buddy permission to do whatever he deemed necessary to complete the task. More than an hour passed before the donkey finished transporting all the cart supplies, while also carrying the broken and empty cart so that the owner could repair it. You are finally done, Buddy, Mr. Leandro remarked. Now I think it's time to name the winner, said Apollo the cheating horse. Leandro agreed, validating Apollo's words. And then... Mr. Leandro continued. Effectively, now it is clear that the best suited for this job is you, buddy. The white horse was shocked by those words and became immediately angry, protesting. But I arrived first. How can you choose that creature over me? Well, replied the man, speed is important, but buddy demonstrated something even more valuable. We all make mistakes. It's inevitable. What matters is not to avoid making mistakes, but to face our mistakes and correct them. That is what our friend Buddy did through his actions. I am very sorry for you. Perhaps Buddy was luckier. Maybe if the wheel of your cart had broken, you would have shown the same courage, and I would have hired you. Leandro continued. This is unheard of, continued the angry Apollo. It is unjust. He is making up absurd reasons. Surely he has preferences for him. But this will not end here. It is discrimination, and believe me, the whole world will know what a dishonest guy the famous Mr. Leandro is. While the horse protested, the man looked at him calmly and firmly. Apollo protested and turned to leave, but before he left, Mr. Leandro said to him, Before you leave, boy, I want to give you a piece of advice. The next time you want to tease me by exchanging your broken cart with the naive donkeys, Make sure that both are carrying the same product, and not that one is filled with vegetables and the other with grains. After hearing this, the white horse had no choice but to retreat, lowering his head as Buddy was finally rewarded for his magnificent integrity. This story should help us reflect on two crucial lessons. The first is that making mistakes is human, it's how we deal with them makes the difference. And the second lesson is on the impact our actions can have on others. This story resonates with us on a profound level because it reflects a fundamental aspect of human existence, the inevitability of making mistakes. In our journey through life, each of us, much like Apollo and Buddy, will undoubtedly encounter moments of error and imperfection. However, what truly distinguishes us is not the absence of mistakes, but rather our ability to acknowledge, learn from, and rectify them. The character of Apollo embodying arrogance and an aversion to admitting his faults serves as a reminder of how pride and ego can often blind us to our own shortcomings. On the contrary, Buddy, with his humility and readiness to accept his mistakes, exemplifies the strength of character that comes with honesty and integrity. In our own lives, it's essential to reflect on how we handle mistakes, both our own and those of others. Do we, like Apollo, allow our ego to drive us to conceal or deflect blame when we err? Or do we, like Buddy, exhibit the courage and integrity to confront our mistakes, take responsibility, and make amends? Ultimately, the lesson from this story is that making mistakes is a part of being human, and it's a shared experience that connects us all. What truly defines us is how we respond to these mistakes, with humility, grace, and a commitment to self-improvement. When we embrace this outlook, we open ourselves up to growth, resilience, and the capacity to learn and evolve from every misstep. This heartwarming story about Buddy the Donkey and Apollo the Horse isn't just a tale of making mistakes and owning up to them. It's a powerful lesson about the profound impact our actions can have on others. Picture this. 
Buddy, the hardworking donkey, always embraced honesty and integrity. He knew that making mistakes was normal, but how he dealt with them set him apart. Buddy's approach to owning up to his errors and fixing them displayed an admirable sense of responsibility. In this, Buddy reminds us that honesty isn't just about telling the truth. It's about taking responsibility for our actions. On the other hoof, we have Apollo, the proud white horse. He thought that his elegant appearance and swiftness made him better than everyone else. His arrogance led him to underestimate Buddy and even try to outsmart him. But this is where the story takes a serious turn. Apollo's actions were driven by dishonesty. He tried to deceive Buddy, and that dishonesty had consequences. It wasn't just about the broken cartwheel. It was about the trust that was broken. When we are dishonest, it erodes trust and hurts those around us. It's like a ripple effect, affecting not only Buddy but also Mr. Leandro and the entire village. If Apollo's dishonesty had gone unnoticed, Buddy would have been left struggling without a job, Mr. Leandro would have been short of supplies, and the villagers might have gone without food. This simple act of dishonesty could have had dire consequences for everyone. That's the thing about dishonesty. It can hurt people. It can shatter trust, damage relationships, and create unnecessary hardships. When we're dishonest, we not only let ourselves down but also those who rely on us. So Buddy's integrity and honesty weren't just personal virtues. They were a lifeline for everyone involved. They showed us that our actions have consequences that reach far beyond ourselves. Now let's take this lesson to heart. When we're faced with choices, we can choose to be like Buddy, to be honest, and take responsibility for our actions. We can remember that our integrity isn't just about doing the right thing when someone's watching. It's about doing the right thing even when no one's looking. And let's also remember the consequences of dishonesty, how it can harm others, and erode the trust that binds us together as a community. In our own lives, let's strive to be honest, to be like Buddy, and make the world a better place, one truthful act at a time. As we navigate the intricacies of life, let us remember the tale of Apollo and Buddy. Let us strive to be more like Buddy, recognizing that it's not the absence of mistakes that makes us great, but our willingness to face them, learn from them, and above all, uphold our integrity throughout the journey. May this story serve as a constant reminder that the path to personal growth and wisdom is paved with the recognition and rectification of our own mistakes, as well as the understanding and forgiveness of the mistakes made by others. We should remember that greatness doesn't stem from a lack of errors, but from our readiness to confront them, derive wisdom from them, and, most importantly, uphold our integrity unwaveringly as we traverse life's winding path. In doing so, we can foster a world where empathy, humility, and integrity reign supreme, allowing us all to grow and thrive together.